Hey, I'm Charting Man Dan. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out our website, thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis, learning, and education, where we broadcast live market coverage every morning, provide live chart consultation, and point out key levels on your favorite plays in our community chat room. Why not check out our free trial and join the best technical analysis community online? Looking at GoPro on the daily and weekly time frame. Sorry bulls, not good news. I promise one of these days I'll have good news, but it is certainly a bearish day, closing below $25 must hold support. So now we have only two support levels between us and the abyss of below, and that is 2462, 2430. After that, there is no previous price history and it will go as low as the bears take it. Very disappointing yesterday as a bullish start to the day was squashed towards the end. I was in a bullish trade myself and was stopped out at break even. So now we're waiting for support to be found and $25 is a strong resistance level that needs to be turned back into support with a close above it. I assume that any bulls left in GoPro are people that were stuck in these trades and I cannot recommend stop losses enough. I was a person as well who did not use stop losses and learned many, many expensive lessons now with the chart guys in our chat room, I emphasize stop losses very adamantly and they are required for any trade that I make. So come on by for a free week and I will do my best to burn that into your brain just like I had to burn it into my own. So key levels, 25 resistance, those support levels. Let's look at the weekly chart, one trading day left to go. Not much going on here. If we are able to close at 24, let's see here. If we're able to close at 25.12 tomorrow, that would be a bullish reversal doji on the weekly chart and a green candlestick next week would confirm that bullish reversal. We have not had a strong confirmation of a bullish reversal since this huge sell-off started back in the 60s. So we'll see how we end the day tomorrow. A close above 25 would be a good sign, but if we lose 24.30, there's no telling how low we could go and a, we would have a bearish MACD cross on top of that. So come on by for the free week. I will do my best to get you on the stop loss train. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful night.